that you abused it. It's not a real thing. Command's a meme. Great, I don't want to play around the one. Maybe? Probably? I cast the tournament. That's sort of a way of participating. Just the meme on deck. This is the Freddy Babes deck. Do I... I just play the other Berserker, right? I'm not going to pro. I said I don't like playing with hidden usernames. Oh, cool. I'm gonna click Donka. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> um... Change. I think during the tournament when I wasn't looking. I hate you. Cut you down. I shall not fail. Humans to the sea. Well, this is uh not an easy rounds to win. Pretty expensive for our opponent though. I don't know how bad is round three in Gorilla Tactics? Could be. <laughs> okay. It's like 10. Dragon's Dream. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Kind of want to get rid of this. Like, nothing works, right? Just kind of got to pass. Uh, I understand why they did it, and as a result, I do not want to play on per rank anymore. I would also say that I'm against it completely, but I understand why they did it. I do not think the trade-off is worth it. It is my tree. I was born with it. I shall die with it. Yeah, exactly. Mulligan this to have a better Cyrus, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How bad is this DD for us? We can kind of survive the DD. We have a lot of points. the downside. The social aspect of the game loses a lot. Games aren't as exciting when you queue into a top player. You don't develop rivalries between players. Women, children, elders. It's the use of knowing you're playing against black, red, five, six, seven. Uh, not a lot, but it still just feels better. You occasionally queue into the same people. What? It seems like not a great heat wave. Sort of is. You can tie a name to the opponent that you're playing against. You can't do that on pro rank until the game's already over. 
And you do occasionally queue into the same person multiple times. Do this now. I didn't hit it. I only hit it once. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's no... There's no hype moments. Like, even after you've played the person, it doesn't matter anymore. The game's already over. There's no excitement. Oh, I don't have the other thing in the graveyard. Um... You think me defenseless? Think again. That would defeat the entire point. The whole reason that they made usernames hidden was to prevent win trading, but all the people that want people to concede to them would just make their names not hidden. The other way around, if you know you're playing, you're against Tailbot, you're going to start out playing yourself. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of your own fault, right? You also get to play differently against players that you know are good versus players that you don't. And I think that's an interesting part of the game. They're actively throwing <laughs> really hates pair abominations. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Competitive, you'll always want your name hidden. Yeah, there's no no advantage to not. Is this last play just gonna be I don't even know. <laughs> that cards look real dumb though. We'll turn to see red. Red! <laughs> How do I say Anna? Maybe. I guess that's a reason to hold this, so I can actually kill the Cyana. But no, there's no... I don't know. Over your dead body. Nah, it wasn't for stream sniping. Doesn't really do anything for stream sniping. If you want to snipe, you can just Q-snipe. Doesn't really do anything for like when trading against streamers either, but it does make it more detectable in that sense. stream mid game there. Yeah, but that was way less of a problem. How would it make it worse? Because you don't know you're playing against the person that you had just played 30 minutes ago. You can't do anything about it. You could take countermeasures before, like when you knew someone was sniping you, but now you have no way of knowing that your current opponent is sniping you. Also, it breaks the symmetry a bit, too. Like, if you get sniped two times by the same person, at least you'll know their list. They might have perfect information on your hand, but at least then you can remember what they played before. Uncrate! Uh, probably Passiflora. I think most of the players from the Invitational just decided to bring Passiflora. Hey, Finny. Smile, you smile, check. Thanks for the two months. Welcome back. The mirror. Interesting. What? Nines? What is no one on Uh, I don't know. 
I haven't really... I guess I could check. I can go to the leaderboards. It depends pretty heavily on what deck we're playing at the time. Doing. We are playing Freddy's Blob deck. Get protector here. Protector deals with the bleed. I don't have a good answer to it. Nope, just grimaced. Not you again. Maybe incoming. Yeah, probably. I mean, he did just play Shield Maiden from hand. Pretty happy to see that. Cyrus in hand, which is reasonable. Not if you're Lippy. If you're Lippy, you want to be playing Cyrus in round one. It gives you an extra Queen's Guard or an extra Shield Maiden. And I imagine he's Lippy. He's playing Roach. It's way more likely he's just missing the Cyrus. If I TA this, I keep the protector going. Is that even worth? I lose the transform. Just not give him a blood eagle. Sort of out of stuff to do. <laughs> My remaining cards aren't great. Hopefully his are bad too. I think discard package. Uh. The issue with Lippy consistency. The issue. There's a lot of issues with Lippy. Consistency is one of them, but power is one too. Like, if I win round one, I am very happy to just take him to a long round three. SK is still not nerfed enough. SK looks like the strongest faction. Something's always going to be the best, though. him next to the protector just in case he is like stunning blow I get an extra point though like there's no way he's got a stunning blow at this point like the bear abomination transformed Uh, 
I'm trying. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm trying. I don't think Mork is super valuable later, but I mean, obviously, five points ahead isn't great either. Yeah, veteran a little clunky when you're trying to not lose on even. Still playing decree. Oh my god. I can't lose on even. If I lose on even, I just lose. See ya, Beepa. Have a good one. We're just like hoping his hand ends up as like Lippy and some other unplayable. Oh my god, that's exactly enough. I smell a leak. Gross. I mean, I guess. This last card's probably Lippy at this point, right? Do I have enough left over? Kind of. Maybe. Well, it's not Lippy. Morkvarg. Oh my god, what am I losing to? <laughs> god damn it, what am I losing to? the last time I ever play a Freddy Babes deck. <laughs> it doesn't work, right? I have to damage enemy unit. Maybe he's out of tutors. He did play Decree and Iris's companions. I guess he still has Saris. Oh, he knew. He knew what this game was gonna be about. Hmm. I guess we get to like leader charge our dudes off of this. Am I just lead on that? Don't let him stunning blow them. Alright, there's a chance I get to Blood Eagle my Blue Boy Lugos. With seven permissions, I always get to Blood Eagle Blue Boy Lugos. Okay. That's way better. Oh good. Oh good. Surely he's out of removal. So next turn I'm clicking Blue Boy Lugos a bunch, so this is going to get worse. Plus I have like no wave. Yeah. Over your dead body. Everything gets worse. I don't think anything matters. 
We know he has Cyrus in hand, so this is already over. Do we get to see his other card? Unless you mean the discard mark bar? The discard mark bar got triggered by Iris' companions. They do all possible trees. No, the opposite. I did basically none of them. I just have a lot of resources from beta. Use the sand for round one? This looks kind of good. I guess I don't want this either. Uh, Freddy played Blue Boy, and we were playing Freddy's List. When you don't play Sigrifus, right? It's just like an alternative to Build Carl. Freddy's list. Nero for Roche. Okay, warriors. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. I'm just gonna lose uneven again. What's my blood eagle do? Blood eagle can get another berserker going. Always mark this blue stripe scout too. I don't think we'll go a card down. We just might have to overcommit. Like we've got a lot of points. Berserker, right? Elf must die. Probably not doing much more. It gets his AA later, but... Eh. Ow. Um... 
You don't want to click Skull. If you click Skull, you hit it for six. I hit you for four. It doesn't kill the Skull between the duels. Your shell curtain still dies. My round three scaling isn't that good. I don't know. There's something up. Skell dies after the duel. Skell continues dueling. It's like dueling living armor. You don't want to do it. Let that go to their cards. They're pretty cool. I like them. So what, I've got Hemdal and Harold versus Draug. And the shit ton of commandos. Maybe I push, try to get him to play his blue stripes. And then just like go a card down and try to win round three with Harold. Or I get all of you guys to DDoS him. And that's how we win. Yeah, the DDoS win is easier. I agree. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. Looks like we're still going. Oh my. I don't want to do anything though. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's so many blue stripes. If I had a proactive play, I guess there's like no proactive plays in my deck that I'd be willing to lead on. I would need to like save the totem. Scowl would have worked too. Nice. Guaranteed win. Is it? Commando Draug is a lot of points. Try to find this, I guess. Ah, oh, there's some downgrades. I'm probably gonna get to Blood Eagle. It shouldn't be a problem. Nope, no build Carl. Plays Blue Boy instead. Vincent, no way he has Draug, yeah. If there was any doubt before, doubt is gone now. things. Let's take my blood eagle now. Over my dead and cold body. 
I don't know anymore. Didn't he play a Neuromancy Rumble? He played a Neuromancy and AA Rumble. He's definitely got a way to get commanders. Sure, so he still has AA. I'm God! A duel! To a duel I challenge thee! So there's no Draug. Clan Kursuk, Clan and Crit. Arm and arm at last. There's probably What, Varaxis? He's playing Oldico. It's Baron. Do I have any reason to kill it? Don't think so. Last place just command is. Weird. So there was no drag. Hooray! Stripes. Yeah, I mean, I tried it earlier in the season. It's not terrible, but... Yeah, I don't know. He was also playing the... Ildico. I don't know what that was about. Formation. Coin again. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Your skull will make a fine tanker. I think I'm just more profile pick. I try. Triple Commando sounds like a great meme. Uh, yeah. Probably should try it at some point this season. Playing blue boy, of course I'm getting blue coins. That's fair. That is how that works. History shall remember the art of being. More round one leader charges. Stunning blow nerf when powerful Gwenty carried. Stunning blow nerf be good. I don't know if it's necessary. Stunning blow is a really powerful card, but it's whatever. You know it exists. Get amnestied. Same idea here. Overtuned four piece spell. I agree that it's overtuned, but. I don't know that it's like a high priority to nerf it. I 
don't know. I tend to think over to Bronze Zoo. Fine. I have Shaggy's list. I don't really have any of my own. Stream being funky. What is it doing? Oh, I'm dropping frames. I'm dropping so many frames. Looks like it's better. Looks like it resolved itself. Guys, it's, it's better now. Just refresh. Refresh if you're still having issues. You should be caught up. Isn't this tech also overtuned? I mean, a little bit. If you want to call like this tech and Fangs overtuned. This tech being a little bit better than Fangs. I guess quite a bit better than Fangs. But I don't really see much of an issue. No one refuses you. Never. Well, that just happened. Air SK is a bad SK. Uh, sure. Represents a lot of removal for a very cheap. Sure. I mean, it only ever trades up provisions, right? It doesn't like get value. You're not tutoring Stunning Blow with anything to have your tutor trade up. Being a raid card, it only ever trades card for card. It simplifies the game. Dropping frames again. Yeah, a few more. Man. Card is very good right now. Read even matter. Currently, raid on cards is irrelevant. I don't want to worry about amnesties. Let's get that in the graveyard. A lot of cards missing. We know they're open a raid tutor. Will they? I don't know if we know that. Yelikin was gone, right? I could just do this. To your God. They dare cross me. And then a War of Clans into Oncrate Warrior. Deals two damage to something else on his board and kills that Enforcer. Or if he uses his last charge, just Giga Square Pit. Or just like War of Clans. Both halves, I guess that's better. To tutor a card that searches your deck for another card. Damage 
damage by threes. And Giga Scorp. Um, I just want to hold on to the, the War of Clans. And have that be five damage when I want it. when I do this. A warrior. Sure. I'll just click this too. Get the spine unit off my board. It could matter. So it's just aristocrats or something weird. Very Protect you to be awkward in these decks. Uh, it can be. I don't know, you've got Berserkers that it goes well with. It's just this isn't a game where I want to have a Berserker. It's pretty good here, too. Skellige looks normal. Seems sort of hard to have a tall unit for Wrath in the Arrakis deck. I guess you've got a... I don't know, it's probably fine. Nithral's a little bit weird. Giving your opponent even more removal value than the other dice have. say about it. I mean, pretty good protector. Got up to 14. Play Spies with Caterpine. I have no plans on playing Spies with Caterpine. Yeah, I mean, I think for most of the Warriors lists that aren't playing uh, Svalblood, it's a lot worse. But when you have Svalblood and you can go, like, Protector into Blue Boy Logos or Vildkarl, it's a lot better. Death's Shadow... The mulligans in this deck are so weird. Like, you sort of want to keep some bronzes to get them in your graveyard. But... Like... Your bronzes are so bad in round one. Deck's like telling you to commit golds early. Which I guess is fine, it's just different.
Not the Berserker. Yeah, the Berserker's fine. The Berserker's pretty good in round one. Villager's pretty fine in round one as well. I mean, they often don't resolve. They just like trade up a point with a natural selection, or they get striggered. Bring the fire, okay. It is cued. Ooh, goes for it early, okay. Is way better in this deck. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't even do anything that weird with the the small bloody thing. He's like got an extra point from the Saris. We happened to draw both the berserkers. as much out of him as I can. Oh. That wasn't supposed to work. I... <laughs> uh... Weird. Very weird. I should have bled the veil. I didn't realize I had it. I wasn't paying attention. In reality, like, he has tolerable for the protector. We're not winning the round anyway. Sort of just playing cards to try to make trades. enough. This might just be enough. Weird. That's not. Okay. <laughs> Probably should have done the math before playing the war plans like that, but... Eh. I mean, the worst case for us, we're still bleeding out the combo. Is watch time broken? Yeah. There's a lot of good cards left over again. Oh, 
huh. So, uh... Yeah, that gives us a Blood Eagle, too. Interesting. I wasn't even sure if I wanted this Blood Eagle. I was happy just getting a Blue Blood Eagle. Fire again. Oh, no. It's cued. Here's the better loot than in your wildest, wettest dreams. Days to be placed under full service. Playlist updated yet? No. Play around Gigni. I think we're gonna accidentally play around Gigni. Okay, okay. Okay, oh, we played into Igni, but it doesn't matter. In such danger of losing this game. Eh, Ethereal's a card. I don't know. I don't have a huge problem with it. It's probably a little overtuned, but it's not like it's breaking monsters right now. It's okay for some cards to be better than others. It's sort of what makes the game interesting. Good. I'm on red too. Yeah, but like it's also the thing that makes those decks good. If you're gonna argue for it being too auto include in something, you could argue that it's like too good in decks that it's not supposed to be good in. Like it's too good in like Death Shadow Crones. It's too good in like Death Shadow Kiki. But like archetypes are supposed to have auto include cards. It's like saying Imperial Enforcers is too auto include in spies. It's kind of silly. Yeah, I think I mulliganed the blow. I don't know how to mulligan with this deck. <sighs> Weird. Scourgeal. Yeah. Scourgeal definitely. I feel like I probably am supposed to be mulliganing Harold more, but I'm really scared of not drawing him later. Read right, the current card game scene. I haven't been playing any card games that aren't Gwent in a while. Basically ever since I started streaming. Nothing to do with the quality of those games, it's just that, like, playing Gwent is how I generate money, and I don't really have a desire to play card games outside of it. Alright, 
Sorry, a bloody gun hand. It'd be safe to click gold veterans. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. See Gwent is superior in any way. I don't have a point of reference because I haven't played the other games in so long. You have my sword, an old pure it's another game in the space. I, it's the one that I'm currently playing. What do I want here? I'm just like pull a drum and berserker. It's appear because it's the one you play. Yeah, I mean a lot of the answers you're gonna get in chat sort of just boil down to that, right? People that don't really play other card games right now, but are playing Gwent. They're going to be biased towards the game. Yoink my Ceres. Does he think I'm Lippy? <laughs> That's incredible. I'm trading Totem for Amnesty. That's a pretty shit trade. Played an online, been an online card player, but you played Gwent because of the Witcher, you're super biased, have no frame of reference. Yeah, exactly. I have played a ton of other card games, but I haven't played them recently enough to know like what their current quality is. Like overall, there are some Yu-Gi-Oh! metagames that are incredible, and some that are just complete dog shit. There are some magic standards that are pretty good, and some that are really bad. I've heard Modern's in a pretty bad spot. Legacy isn't supported anymore. Plus four. Meh. Modern and Pioneer are terrible at the moment. Modern probably less so, yeah. But like I haven't played in so long that I couldn't tell you why they're bad. Oh cool. I throw away this blue boiler ghost. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my leader. I don't really want a Harold. Eh, it's the worst that can happen. Plays Masquerade Ball. I can beat a Masquerade Ball. I believe I can beat a Masquerade Ball. This turn. It's just how do I want to do it? This blue boy leader. It's kind of a huge swing. I could just get rid of the Turgvi. If I get rid of the Turgvi, I'm still gonna have to play the blue boy. This like just gets me the card, right? Still playing. They can have purify. You play cup air, right? Hey, red dream. Thanks for the host. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's bait, monkey ass. It's a. Uh, yeah. I go first. Mother. 
Henry's balanced. Hey man, I'm not the one that wasted their Purify against Skilliga. Frames again? Yeah, frames are getting fucked. Having a good time. I can't complain. Still have like Yoakim potentially. Eagle Skull last play. We'll turn to see red, red. <laughs> I just beat everything. We need to respect anything. No prisoners. Them to the sea. Should be bigger than every Yoakim. Powerful cards. You on time for Monster Train? You are just on time for Monster Train. So we lost one game and it was a blue coin.